Hello students, in this session, which is session number two of chapter nine, Alcohols of Organic Chemistry 2, are going to know how to write the oxidation reactions of primary alcohols in different conditions and to predict the products of oxidation reactions of primary alcohol. First of all, what is meant by mild oxidation? Mild oxidation is a reaction that takes place without breaking of carbon chain. Can you help me please? This is an alcohol. Can you tell me if a mild oxidation takes place, whether this carbon chain will change? Will it be broken? Will it? No, of course not. By mild oxidation, this carbon chain will remain as it is. Changes only will occur where? On the functional group. You are responsible in this session only for mild oxidation of primary alcohols. Three reactions are needed from you. First one is catalytic oxidation in the presence of oxygen. The second is catalytic dehydrogenation in absence of oxygen. And the third is oxidation in the presence of oxidizing agents. You should know, first of all, that primary alcohols, when they undergo oxidation, they give us aldehydes. Okay? Now, if this aldehyde has suitable conditions, it also continues oxidation to give us what? Carboxylic acid. If not, it stops at aldehyde. So, primary alcohols in the presence of oxidation, oxidizing agents or oxygen, can give us aldehyde. If there's more oxidizing agent or if there's more oxygen, aldehyde continue the reaction to give us carboxylic acids. Let us start with the first reaction, which is catalytic oxidation in the presence of oxygen. Primary alcohols in the presence of oxygen and in the presence of the heated copper metal can undergo the reaction to give us aldehyde. Okay, and H2O. One hydrogen from here and one hydrogen from here. H2 and this O. This is one atom of oxygen. This O, H2O. Okay. Now, this aldehyde will continue oxidation. will take one more atom of oxygen to give us carboxylic acid. If the oxygen is in excess. So this aldehyde may continue the reaction to give us carboxylic acid if there is enough oxygen. As an overall, primary alcohols in the presence of enough oxygen can undergo oxidation to give us carboxylic acids. The summary is that this primary alcohol in the presence of oxygen can give us aldehyde if there is enough more oxygen this aldehyde can give us carboxylic acid. Second reaction is catalytic dehydrogenation in absence of oxygen. In absence of oxygen means there is no oxygen here. Okay, dehydrogenation, what does it mean? Do you remember it? Dehydrogenation is the removal of H2 from the molecule. So H2 is removed hydrogen from here and hydrogen from here and the product is aldehyde i want to ask you a question will this aldehyde continue oxidation will this aldehyde continue to give us carboxylic acid no it will not continue this primary alcohol undergo dehydrogenation reaction means oxidation reaction to give us aldehyde but there is no more oxygen or oxidizing agent for this aldehyde to continue so reaction stops at aldehyde now third reaction you are responsible for is oxidation in the presence of oxidizing agents first case if the oxidizing agent is in limiting amount please tell me if i put primary alcohol with limited amount of oxidizing agent, what will happen? Primary alcohol will give us aldehyde, 
but because there is more, no more oxidizing agent, the aldehyde will not give us carboxylic acid. So the reaction stops here at aldehyde, okay? And the redox couples that are involved is R, MnO4- minus will be reduced to Mn2+, plus, and the primary alcohol will be oxidized to what? Only aldehyde, okay? Let us see together and do together the half reactions and the overall equation. Hmm? Remember, in presence of limited amount of MnO4 minus. Start with MnO4 minus. You know, you remember this balancing. Mn is balanced. We have to balance oxygen. So, add H2O here. How many H2O? Remember, 4. Now, we have 4 oxygens here and 4 oxygens here. What shall we do? We have 8 hydrogens. So, balance them by adding H+. Plus. Okay, now we have to balance the charge. Count with me. This 8 plus minus 1. How many? 7 plus. And here we have 2 plus. So we have to add electrons at this side. 5 electrons. The total charge now is balanced. This is reduction half reaction. Now let us together write the oxidation half reaction. Tell me. After this arrow, what shall I write? R, it remains unchanged and only changes occur at this carbon atom where primary alcohol becomes what? Only aldehyde. Okay, now balance the oxygen, it is balanced. Hydrogens, how many here? Tell me three. Don't look at hydrogens in the R group. We have three hydrogens here, so we have to add two H plus to have three hydrogens here, and at last balance the charge by adding electrons. This is oxidation half reaction. Why is it oxidation? How did I know from this equation that it is oxidation? Because electrons are lost, electrons are in the product. Okay, I have to add these two equations. What shall I do now? Yes, the number of gained electrons must be equal to the number of lost electrons. So multiply here by 5 and here by 2. So the number of electrons will be 10 by 10 and then they will be cancelled. 2 MnO4 minus 5 alcohols. Okay, 5 aldehyde. 2 Mn2 plus and hydrogens are added primary alcohol give us aldehyde because mno4 minus is limp. now if mno4 minus is in excess can you tell me what is going to happen primary alcohol will give us aldehyde and this aldehyde can find more oxidizing agent it react with with it and give us carboxylic acid you can say directly primary alcohols with excess oxidizing agent will give us carboxylic acid. Redox, redox couples involved in this case, what are they? MnO4- with Mn2+, true, and primary alcohol, you can put it to directly carboxylic acid. Let us together write the half reactions. I think this will be easy for you now. 4 H2O, 8 H plus, and 5 electrons. This is reduction. Now, primary alcohol. After the arrow, what shall I put? Carboxylic acid directly. You know? Now, help me. Carbon atoms are balanced, of course. We have here one oxygen. We have here how many? Two. So, what shall I do? 1 H2O here. Now, two oxygen atoms. Two oxygen atoms. Our oxygen atoms are balanced. Now, count the hydrogens, please. One, two, three, four, five. One. So, add for H+. Plus. And four electrons to balance the charge. This is oxidation, half the action. Now, what shall I do? Tell me. Four electrons and five electrons. The number of gained electrons must be equal to the number of lost electrons so multiply here by 5 and there by 4 
you will get the overall equation of the reaction. Primary alcohol with enough amount of MnO4- gave us carboxylic acids. So primary alcohols take MnO4- to give aldehyde in presence of enough MnO4- this aldehyde will give carboxylic acid and as overall primary alcohols in presence of enough amount of amino 4 minus give us carboxylic those are all the information needed in this session let us review them first of all we took mild oxidation which is oxidation that occurs without breaking the carbon chain then we take we took three oxidation reactions. The first one is catalytic oxidation in presence of oxygen. Tell me what will, what, what will happen. Primary alcohol will give us aldehyde. And if there is more oxygen, it will give us carboxylic acid. What is the second reaction? You still remember? Catalytic dehydrogenation where primary alcohol is transformed into aldehyde. Third reaction is primary alcohol transforms into aldehyde in the presence of oxidizing agent and may also, this aldehyde will may also, will also continue to give carboxylic acid if there is more oxidizing agent. Let us do some applications. You have to write the oxidation reaction of ethanol with dichromate ions and an acidic medium and you are given the redox couple involved note you have to balance this equation which is a reduction cr2 o7 to minus o7 so you have to add okay remember balance this cr2 okay by adding by multiplying cr3 plus by 2 7 h2o at here so 14 h plus and six electrons now remember you have ethanol what will it give us in the presence of limiting amount of oxidizing agent only aldehyde c double bond oh or in this form no problem so only changes occur at this carbon okay balance by multiplying the electrons i advise you in such reactions to hide the R group because it's not involved in the reaction it's easier for you to balance in this case when you are hiding this R group only changes occur on the carbon of the functional group the overall is like that okay now I will help you to transform this H plus into H3O plus you know how do you know how you have to add 8H2O here and 8H2O here. 8H2O on the both sides of the reaction. So this H plus will become H3O plus and 7H2O will become 15. You add 8 plus 7. Part B, ethanol with excess amount of Cr2O7 to minus what you will have. This is easy for you, but now this reaction okay but hide the R group the primary alcohol will become what carboxylic acid I think balancing is now easy for you give me the overall what will be yes <clears throat> yes this is the overall another application application number two catalytic oxidation in open air of propanol open air means we have enough oxygen propanol hide the R group it will become what enough oxygen of course carboxylic acid okay and you have to write the equation you have to study the last application is also propanol which undergoes dehydrogenation reaction do you still remember what will it give us this is propanol hide the R group it will give us aldehyde changes occur only at the functional carbon 
so information are taken from you and thanks for your attention in the next session we are going to take oxidation of secondary alcohols